Hi there, my name is Trolls, and this is the third video in our Studio Quartet Deep Solo Violin series. Um, the Studio Quartet contains both bass, cello, viola, and violin, but this particular library is only focused on the violin. And it has over 88 deep sampled articulations, meaning most of the articulations, even stuff like arcs, um, have multiple velocities and round robin. So it's an incredibly deep library that goes vast and deep and wide in any capacity. We actually call this ultra deep sampling because that's how deep it goes. And um, in this video, it's actually the third video, I'm only gonna be focusing on our ostinato proportions of the library and our performance-based articulations. We have two other videos where I'm demonstrating the arcs and the special types of arcs. And of course, a video as well, the first one where I'm demonstrating our true polyphonic legato, our sustains and our wealth of short notes. We have like 14 different types of short notes. Um, but it's so much more fun to play with the library and just not talk too much and just show you what it works like on the keys. Um, I'll be starting here with the ostinatos. We have 12 different types of ostinatos as well. Um, there's a lot you can do with short notes in the traditional multi-sampled realm. We've all been there. This library goes deeper than most with what's over a dozen of short notes. It goes really deep with the ostinatos. Um, you can get them more connected, you get them different tempos, you can get them more disconnected. But in essence, it's just all the stuff you can't really do with short notes. Um, just to make sure that we captured it all. That's why we have so many different arcs. That's why we have so many different types of layered legato and all that. We really want to encompass the full complexity of the violin. Um, and later on with the viola and the cello and the bass as well. The violin is immensely complex. It's one of the most difficult things to sample. Um, and this is our latest attempt at really, really getting close to it. I love this library. Um, but let me show you here um, in terms of the ostinatos. Let me just open over here before we get started so you can see what we're looking at. The ostinatos are also called our measured articulations over here and you can see all 12 of them. Let's start here with the dissoche recorded slowly. But we can also take the same articulation here and just speed it up twice as fast. We also have the dissoche twice as fast in eighth notes. Let me just get the tempo back here. We also have the Tache for 16 notes. And this time around, just pay attention to the mod wheel as I'm moving it. You can get a very beautiful, fast, sort of emotional uh, type of cadence, but you can also get a more gritty type using the velocity morphing. And we also have ostinatos for portados. And we also have a portato legato. Um, this is twice as fast and with a little more disache kind of motion, but still with an element of the portato in the ostinato. The portato and detaché are sort of experimenting with the length of the ostinato. We also have true spiccato. Um, in this library, we use the word martelli for the short notes, which is more proper, but this is actually the spiccato in the way it's sort of intended where you really have these brush strokes uh, on the bow, but recorded in the ostinato here. And then we also have spiccato, but with a little more pointiness. 
The first one are more brushed, the bow is sort of quietly dampening on the string or bouncing very gently, but you can also give it a little more grit. It's not pulling on the string, but it's a little more bounce with a grit to it, if you will. Um, the difference is notable. If we take the spiccato brushed here, and we compare it to the spiccato pointed. You can hear the sort of percussive quality in the pointed one. And we also have tremolo, um, but these are measured tremolos and we have them at two different speeds, multiple dynamics as well. We also have tremolo fast and then we have saltasto ostinato as well. So that more, a little more sort of harmonic feel to the ostinato. And um, we actually have two more. We also have Soltasto Fast. Um, you can see I actually ran out of modules here in the matrix. So let me just load these two last ones here, Soltasto Fast and the, um, and the Soltando. If you hover over any of these here, you can see the native tempo that the Ostanazos were recorded at. Um, it's a good reference just to keep it reasonably realistic. I don't like to venture um, out of it a lot more than like 25% because of the time stretching and contact. Uh, let's try the Soltasto Fast here. And it's really interesting, um, if you just listen through all of them side by side, it really gives you an idea about like how wide and deep this ostinato stuff goes. Uh, let me try here quickly. That's ostinato for you. Um, together with the wealth of short notes we have, it really encompasses a lot of things you can do um, with the solo violin. But uh, let's take it a step deeper. Let's say that you wanna even push and do more new sort of rhythms or unique articulations. This is where our performance bank comes into context. So it's not only the deep short notes, it's not only the wealth of ostinatos, but it's also the wealth of performance-based notes. And each of these are recorded with round robin. So you get natural variations every time you play them and that's good for sort of faster and repetitive playing styles. You don't get the dreaded machine gun effect, there's always a little nice variation to it. Let's try the da da da. And we got tuplets. And triplets. And quadruplets. And we also have the tuplets twice as fast, so both normal tuplets and fast tuplets. And we have saltado short. And saltando medium. And let's say that we want to quickly build another articulation matrix. Um, I'm going to go down here right now and choose a variety of new articulations. And this is all real time. This is how Quickly, you can build your own articulation matrix. Um, you just double click, choose the notes you want here, and then um, all of a sudden you've built an entirely new set. These are the Jedis, or the Jedis, I guess I would call them. Um, there's a lot of new musical expressions in here, and for us, as you can probably see in this library, we are outside just the normal set of articulations, our sustains and spiccatos. We're really venturing into the depth of this instrument, the gorgeous, beautiful depth of the solo violin. Um, I heard, I remember when we recorded the Dacio, uh, one of the master violinists was talking about that the violin in some ways was an accompanying instrument for traveling musicians back in the day. 
it um, covers a lot of the same range as the human voice and obviously higher than that. But people used to sing when they were playing it and do duets with the violin. And um, this library is, I guess, an homage to that depth, um, trying to cover as much as we can. Um, it takes several years and a very, very expensive production to do these things. But now we've gotten a little closer to the soul of the instrument, I think at least. Um, let's play here with the Jedis or the Jedis. Or you can just wrap it up uh, with a strange uh, combination of a Jedi Random and know absolutely not what you're doing on the key, like I often feel. Um, this library um, is one of those libraries that makes me feel I can do more than I can as a human. It's like a little bit like the analogy in Matrix, like in terms of like I know Kung Fu. Um, we've talked about this before in other videos as well. Um, but I think when we really hit it right with libraries, um, they become a part of your musical persona. Um, you can now play like uh, principal violinist in the BBC and really really take this to another level than we otherwise could with samples before. I can keep on uh, just talking about violins forever. Um, I hope this video has showed you um, what you can do in terms of ostinatos and performance based articulations but um, if this is the first video you're watching and you made it all the way to the end here uh, try to check out the two other videos covering the arcs and the legato as well. Um, this library goes vast, deep and wide. There's so much you can do with it and it's really an homage to the complexity and beautiful emotional detail of the solo violin. And the same thing goes for our cello and viola and bass as well in the studio quartet. Each of them have 88 articulations exactly identical to the violin, so they really all sit together if you want it. Um, we've made it in a way that you can just cherry pick whatever instrument you want and hopefully affordable too. So yeah, this is Troll signing out. Thank you for watching and if you made it all the way to the end and watched all these videos then I'm just a uh, Super happy because this instrument in many ways deserves it. It's that deep, complex and beautiful. So I'll see you in the next video.